in this session let's learn about database user what is a database user in simple terms a database user is a way to organize the ownership of the database objects and the access rights the user has example we have a table called sales customer and invoice and we need to logically group these database objects we can create a user called inventory and then create these three tables in this user now this user inventory has the ownership of this three database objects if he wants he can give all the permissions to different users if he wants to select or delete or update he can give those privileges to some other users and even the dba can control whatever the access this user inventory can have maybe the dba wants to give create table create view and create synonym so he can give this access rights or privileges to this user inventory and make sure that he doesn't give it to anyone else like this a database user account can be used to organize the ownership of a database objects and also helps the dba to control the access rights for the given users okay so what does a database user account has he has a unique username which cannot be more than 30 bytes okay the maximum length of a user name is 30 bytes it cannot have any special characters and it must always start with a letter okay and then he has a authentication method the most common authentication method is password but you can use various external authentication methods like your biometric like your fingerprints or some other token authentication but most of the time password is the commonly used authentication method okay and a user has a default table space like whenever the user creates a table and stores the data this is the table space where the data is stored and then he has a default temporary table space allocated which will be used to store all the temporary data created by the user okay and obviously every user is assigned with a profile this profile is used to control the access rights of the user and also set some password restrictions on the user we will learn about profile in depth in the later on sessions okay and also the user account has an initial consumer group which is used by the oracle resource manager and the final one account status this indicates whether the user account is open logged or expired okay so these are the various properties a database user account has now you are thinking what is a schema a schema is nothing but the collection of database objects owned by the database user okay in our example if the database user is inventory a schema called inventory will be created and all the database objects like a tables views sequences stored procedures indexes synonyms are stored within this schema okay and obviously the schema has the same name as the user account okay now let's learn about some of the default administrative accounts created as part of your oracle installation the first one sys this is a very important account which is used by the dba this one you can think like a master of all the users it has got all the privileges it has got the dba role it has got all the privileges with admin option this user can perform the startup the shutdown of the database he can perform the backup and recovery he can perform the database upgrades and also this user owns the data dictionary for the entire oracle database okay so this is pretty much a master of all privileges it got pretty much everything okay this should be used only by the dba you shouldn't share the password of the sys with anyone else okay the next one system even a system is a very powerful account pretty much similar to sys 
okay the only exception are the system account cannot perform backup and recovery and also it cannot perform database upgrades apart from that it's very similar to sys most of the time as a dba you try to use the system user and only task which you are not able to use using the system user then you use the user sys okay and the next one is dbs nmp this account is used by the oracle enterprise manager to monitor and manage the database if you don't know what oracle enterprise manager is it is a graphical user interface tool provided by oracle to manage the oracle database that means you can create users you can manage table spaces you can manage backups and you can do pretty much all the database operations so dbs nmp is used to monitor the database to see what's going on what are the various sessions running how much time it is running and all kind of stuff and the final one sys man this account is also used by the oracle enterprise manager to perform the database administrative tasks the dbs nmp is used only to monitor the database but whereas sysman is used to perform various database administrative tasks like creating a table space creating users performing backup and recovery okay the next one is like how do we create a user we can create a user as simple as create user username identified by password that's it the user is created or we can say create user username identified by password and then we can give the option password expire if we give the password expire whenever the user john logs in using this password it will ask john to enter a new password okay when you use these two options by default oracle will automatically assign the profile default it will assign a default table space it will assign a default temporary table space if you don't want to assign the default attributes you can create a user with all those parameters you see create user john and then we are saying profile default we will learn about profiles later okay so profile we are assigning it as default and then identified as a password and then we are saying default table space is users that means whatever the data john creates store the data in the table space users and then we are saying temporary table space is temp that means whatever the temporary data john generates store it in the temporary table space temp and we can say account unlock that means we are saying unlock the account so that john can login if we say account lock the account john will be created but john will not be able to login only when you unlock again john can login okay so like this you can create a user depending on your need just creating a user is not enough you need to grant them something so it's always advisable to grant the roles connect and resource to the user we will learn about these roles later on in the session okay and obviously if you want to reset a password of a particular user it's very easy alter user username identified by password it's so simple right and then we will learn one more thing how do you lock a user and unlock a user again it is so simple alter user username account lock if you want to lock the user account unlock if you want to unlock the user okay in the next session we'll go to the oracle database and create couple of users and explore all these options okay